Oh, dude. Oh. SKS shotgun. SKS shotgun. Hey, guys. Shotguns are super good. How about we make it where every gun can be a shotgun? That sounds like a great idea. What is up, guys? Patch by here, and today I'm going to be checking out the Phantom Forces test place. If you guys want to try out the game, there's a link in the description down below because I know everybody uh, always asks for the link. So I'm going to put it below in the description. So we're checking out the new FAMAS model. So if you guys don't know, uh, they added it in the test place where if you don't put an optic on it, it goes back to default. This is a normal FAMAS. And also, we got some stat changes, I'm pretty sure. And ammo types do make a difference, plus the muzzle booster does make a, quite a difference as well. But if we put the reflex on, we get the old school FAMAS look from Black Ops 1. So if you guys ever played that game or know of the game, you should know exactly what I'm talking about. So we're going to be checking this out today uh, and see how it is compared to the uh, FAMAS on the current game. Which I'm pretty sure a lot of people were giving positive feedback on this uh, version with the stat changes. So uh, I think it might be pretty good when I've been hearing... We're going to push around real quick. <clears throat> oh, my God. There's three people just chilling right here. What's going on? Hello? <laughs> what are they doing? Where'd that second guy go? Oh, I'm dead. Okay, I'm not. Got him. Being shot at from the other side. I'm so dead. My god, what happened to my recoil control there? I'm so dead. I'm surprised I even survived that long. <laughs> uh, I'm actually so excited for the 15.0 update for Phantom Forces. Um, it's going to be not the, the last biggest update we get, but uh, the one before Core 6, I believe. Uh, because after that update, I think they're... After they finalize everything for this big update, they're full speed ahead on the um, on the Core 6, so. Kind of excited. I hope a lot of the maps from this test place actually do get added because I enjoy a lot of them. I think uh, the revamps are, are, how are you not done? And I knifed him? Huh. And a shotgunner. Got one. I'll try to push through here. Not sure if there's another one down this way. We do push though. Here I'm coming up the stairs. No, oh, I tried getting the triple spray down. I missed the second guy. Or the third guy, I mean. Behind the other guy. This is a full lobby. It doesn't feel like people are spawning. Yeah, there's a ton of people not spawning in. A ton of people. Oh. Okay. I just got pooped on. Oh, no. Not an M60, dude. Thank God he peaked when I was like mid dive. Now with some of these maps, I noticed that they are like blocking off uh, some parts where it completely ruins like the, the flow of the game. So I hope they fix some of those uh, parts of the map because the whole diving on top of things and diving over things is part of Phantom Forces. I don't think that should change at all. I'm surprised I even got that guy. Yeah, but it seems like for some of the maps they're limiting. Oh my God. Yeah, uh, I'll meet you guys in mid. Some of the maps are just like limiting uh, where you can jump to and everything. I don't know how I feel about it. I think some spots obviously should be changed, but not 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 most of the spots. What's the headshot multiplayer on this? I didn't check it. I don't know if that guy was weak or what, but that felt pretty good, not going to lie. We got a nice fire rate, the good fashion a moss fire and then you put a muzzle booster on that too not sure if it's ideal uh but if you're rocking like a close quarters map maybe warehouse something like that it might be fun to mess around with that uh as like a smg and here we go the guy still abusing the shotgun i really hope they do something about shotguns for core six and make sure they're not overpowered like overly abused and overpowered uh because that that is such an annoying thing to deal with in this game and on top of that having all the uh broken setups like that are very very powerful like i think it's okay to have maybe one or two but to have more than that that's that's on a whole nother level 
I was kind of scared I was going to get stuck in, in that, but we're good. I'm going to try. Oh, I was going to say, I'm going to try pushing up this. Bad idea, but I'm going to try it. And look what happens. <laughs> Bizarre revamp. Oh, there's a... I don't know if the sun glare is making it look a little bit foggy or... Yeah, there's like a slight... It might just be the sun glare. I'm not sure. But it makes it look kind of flo foggy, not going to lie. Looks sick. Um, So is this like the current version that's in the game? Or is this like a new revamped version? It says revamped, but... It looks exactly like uh, what I already played in the um, main game. I'm not sure. Uh, let's go ahead and run around a little bit more and find out. As far as I can see, so... Why are shotguns doing that much damage through walls, man? Please. I had to play this for another five to six months, man. Can we at least get shotguns fixed? Like, I don't care for L I, like, I don't care if everybody's using LMGs. Just, can I stop getting shot through walls by an AA-12? Please. I don't care if it's realistic or what. There's a balance between realism and a balance between video games. If you try to go too much realism, then it just ruins the whole point of a video game. And put on top of that, this is more of like an arcade battlefield style. You don't want... Uh, full realism for this style of game. Now, if we went full realism, then sure, that stuff makes sense. But I, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense right now. Nice. I'm not sure if the, uh, the hit fire is ideal on this. Maybe if I put a folding grip on along with my blue laser, but angle grip for hip firing is not ideal along inside the blue laser. The ADS speed is actually pretty nice on this gun. So. Yeah, this headshot multiplier is actually really nice on this gun. That's what I'm noticing. I, I still didn't check it. I should have uh, when, we were re or when we were spawning. But the rate of fire plus the uh, headshot multiplier makes it very good for headshots. But on top of that with no recoil, even more amazing. Well, it has recoil, but... Uh, horizontal, not vertical. Can I? I want to see if I can do something here. Okay, it won't work. I tried. Epic. Nice. Awesome, man. That's a that's a crazy good weapon. <laughs> Headshot more. Oh. What the? Anybody else see that guy's name just teleport? Wait, I thought I killed him. There's another guy pushing. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I thought that was my teammate shooting, dude. Oh, dude. Oh. SKS shotgun. SKS shotgun. Hey, guys. Shotguns are super good. How about we make it where every gun can be a shotgun? That sounds like a great idea. Whoever is in charge or whoever thinks of these shotgun ideas should be fired, dude. Why are they still involved with the development of the game? Does it make sense? I don't understand. Why add more of what's already dominating the game? And by the way, we can't blame Leto, Axis, or even Shay for any of the uh, any of this stuff happening, by the way. When I was told, they don't even, con they're not even working on the shotguns at all. So, uh, they're about to not even be working on the game at all because Core 6 is their main focus now. So, they're, all updates are going to be basically community driven. And I don't know how shotguns are community driven, but uh, I guess they are. So, don't question it, boys. <sighs> it hurts me so much to see this happening to this game. I really hope after they get Core 6 in a running, like a runnable state where we can mess around on it and we can upload videos on it, <clears throat> they actually take time and fix everything that they allowed people to do to this game. 
Now I won't I won't say everything that uh that has been done to the game is a bad thing, but I think they the people that are currently working on the game obviously want or don't care if it's heavily LMG and shotgun um driven. It's it's like they want that to be dominant. It's, and I understand shotguns are not the easiest thing in the world to balance cuz they're not. If, if I had to say, if I was making games, I would maybe have one shotgun in the game. Or none. Because I think, personally, shotguns are are very hard to balance in the sense that they got to be good. And if they're not good, then what's the point of even having them in the game? And when you try to make them good, sometimes they're just too good. So. There's a third guy. Team help. Oh, there's a shotgun in here. Oh. I guess that's where I was. That's a nade. That's... I'm dead. Very epic. Very epic. You're gonna be right over here. Dude, why is so many people not spawn in on, on the test place? Like, so many AFK people. Oh. Just waiting here with a shotgun. So far, I'm really, really, I'm really digging this. It's not as good as the old Famas. I don't think any, I don't think we'll ever get that old Famas back. But, I mean, it is good. It's better than the original Famas in the game currently. And I love the new model. I don't know if you guys ever played Black Ops 1, but. If you guys have been watching for a long time, you know I'm a huge fan of Black Ops 1. Probably one of my favorite Call of Duties of all time. Um, but I still, I, I have so many favorite Call of Duties. But uh, Black Ops 1 is definitely one of those that had the most iconic weapons, in my opinion, for me. And it's also the first COD I started playing when growing up. So, well, technically speaking, I played Mono for 2, but it was offline at my friend's house. So, it was never online. But the first online PvP Call of Duty matches I ever had was on Black Ops 1. Bro, this thing shreds, man. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate for me. Come on. That's a SKS shotgun. Thank God he was killed from my teammates. Oh, there's another guy with another SKS shotgun. Awesome. Love to see it, boys. <laughs> I don't think you guys understand how, how bad this is going to be for full release. Like, actually, though, how bad that's going to be. I hope this does not see the day of light in actual game. 198, boys. All right, 59 and 19. I want you guys to keep in mind that we're playing in lobbies with a lot higher ranks. That's why I like... I actually really like the test plays because all the higher ranks are there testing new stuff. Well, some of them. Some of them just keep using the same thing they use on the main game. Doesn't make sense, but they do. But I notice a lot of the higher rank players kind of use this as their main game over the actual game. I see a lot of the same people in here most of the time. So it's pretty cool. I think I'm going to end the video right here, though. Thank you guys so much for all the support recently. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the daily uploads. Uh, if you don't remember, we are doing daily uploads uh, this whole month. And if I uh, enjoy doing it and I have fun... We should also continue that the next month and the following month after that. Anyways, thank you guys for all the support. I love you guys for it. Peace out.